lose, or maybe they gain something by bringing this guy in. I'll tell you what I think we get back from the break. Don't go away. Three minutes to Doug Stewart Show. Hey, what's up, sports fans? You're looking for a different type of sports talk show, something you haven't heard before. You got to check out the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday on 2 Live Stews Radio, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Sports talk at its finest. Always have great guests playing some good hip-hop. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to tune in to the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. My swag's out the ring the scam. 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 And I be swagging out the tail. Oh, yeah. Introduce me to a tail, I guarantee I break it. Introduce me to a beat, I guarantee I break it. Earthquake flow, 2012, don't stay I'm a cool kid, and you are just a stepchild. I am so sci-fi, bringing out the X-Files. Label me the truth, troublemaker in the pool. There's a hole in my ceiling, cause my swagger through the roof. Show. Uh, the number to the show is 404-822-5467. Once again, 404-822-5467. This is a Woman Wednesday. Uh, Kyrie Irving now going to Boston as Isaiah Thomas goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, um, production-wise, it doesn't seem like they are actually too uh, far apart from each other and talking about Kyrie and Isaiah Thomas. Here's the thing about Isaiah Thomas, man. I don't think, and, and I guess it proves it to a small degree, I don't think that Danny Ainge and the Boston Celtics believed that 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 Isaiah Thomas was, you know, or had much more upside or would be a marquee-type player that could be the main focal point of a team. Like, you know who he kind of reminds me of? And this is just an observation. You might agree. A lot of y'all probably going to disagree. He kind of reminds me of, and and you're listening uh, uh, to the Doug Stewart show, he kind of reminds me of the Kirk Cousins of the NBA. Let me tell you why I say that. You know what I always talk about Kirk Cousins. I just don't think that the Washington Redskins believe in Kirk Cousins. Like, they see him put up good stats, you know, some weeks, but then there's some weeks they'll see him kind of fall back to the guy that wasn't drafted as high, wouldn't set to be a franchise quarterback. And so they kind of don't believe their eyes. That's why they're kind of hesitant to give this guy a long-term deal, you know. And I think that's probably, you know, kind of the same thing that you're getting with Isaiah Thomas. Like, you watch what this guy did last year, and you're like, man, did he really do that shit? I mean, how is he doing this? You know, every bit of five foot nine, um, he's a fantastic player and he produced last year, but it's almost like you want to see it a couple more years. When you watch Kyrie Irving, you know what you're getting. 
And the thing about Kyrie is I think that he sells tickets. He can sell tickets more so than Isaiah Thomas. If you're a Boston fan, he's one of the elite, most fun players in the league. You know, so his brand is a lot bigger in relative terms. They're the same type of players. They do the same types of things. But his brand, Kyrie's brand, is way bigger than Isaiah Thomas's. Even though Isaiah Thomas was talked about last year as being an MVP, he was in the conversation. It's just something that you're not quite sure about on him doing what he did last year long term. Uh, Uncle Drew, man, you know what you're going to get on, uh, uh, out of Uncle Drew. You're not going to get anybody to stop him. And then once again, his brand is big right now, man. And, you know, the, the commercials and the notoriety. And once again, if you go back to last year, man, in the finals, Uncle Drew put that team on his back. A lot of y'all don't want to admit it. A lot of y'all LeBron fans, and I get that. That's fine. Kyrie is a ball hog. No, LeBron James passed the ball to Kyrie Irving like a hot potato and got the hell out of the way. Uh, I think Boston wins. Now, Cleveland didn't get no uh, you know, fish heads and rice. They get Jameson Crowder, a good defender, a guy that can shoot the three on the wing or whatever. And then they get Isaiah Thomas, who, uh, again, last year was in the conversation for the MVP. All right, so... Um, I, I think both teams won. This is one of those those uh, win-win situations they always talk about in business. I think both teams uh, got better. And now you pair up Kyrie with Gordon Hayward and the pieces, some of the pieces that they got there, the Murray kid, I think they're going to be interesting. I think they're slightly better than they were last year. Now, they made a lot of changes in the offseason, but um, I think that they recognized that the team that they had assembled – was not going to compete in the East against the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think the Cavaliers, in effect, kind of stand pat because they do lose so much on the scoring end out of Kyrie Irving not being there. But I don't think they lose you know, anything at all in relative terms to the, all of the pieces that they picked up in this deal. Plus, the, uh, the Boston Celtics, um, or the, um, uh, the Cavaliers, which one was it? The Cavaliers? I think the Cavaliers pick up the pick from uh, the Brooklyn Nets that's lottery p- protected. Um, and so they're going to get another piece out of the deal as well. I think it's a win-win for both organizations. <laughs> right. From Lee Lee. Uh, Shouts out Lee Lee. She says, I know that if, if you... Uh, I notice if Doug likes you, he'll big you up. He don't hell talk cash ish. Laugh out loud. I'm kind of uh, not understanding what you just said, Miss Lee Lee. But thank you for joining us in the chat room from Cedric Galloway. Let me take a picture, a uh, look at Cedric Galloway's uh, profile pic in the chat room. Yes, sir. Thank you, Cedric Galloway. Thank you. Yes, sir. From one chance, from one chance in the chat, he says, Bab, right, granted Kyrie was injured his first couple of years, but I don't think he's shown he can win championships being the guy, but we shall see, but Boston ain't beating the Golden State Warriors. I, 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 I talked about this earlier. People forget when Kyrie, Curry, Kyrie Irving went to college one year. So, in effect, the man came into the NBA as an 18-year-old kid. He played three years when he was supposed to be in college still. Without LeBron James. We don't know how that man has grown as a leader. He never got the opportunity. Because when you're that young, it's hard to be a leader on a team with a bunch of veterans that have played in the NBA for many years. And you're technically still a teenager. Okay? And I know it sounds like I'm making excuses for him. But you put any other great player on an NBA team when they're 18, 19 years old. How much of a leader can that guy be? You know, we will see now. You may be right. He may not be a leader. What we saw out of him his first couple of years, maybe the Kyrie Irving that you're just, that's what you're going to get for, you know, the rest of his his career. But we don't know. All right? Factor in that the guy was young. We will see how much he has grown as a leader now that he's in Boston. He is, quote, unquote, the guy. Stop hating.
from Mo Cheese, the Laker fan, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show on the Two Live Shoes Radio Network. He says, yeah, I like the trade for both teams. They both made moves for the future. Now LBJ can come to La La Land and Cavs fans won't lose their mind. That's a very good point. You got Isaiah Thomas. Because I think LeBron James is gone. That's another part of this. That's another part of this whole equation that I think people forget about and talking about Kyrie being greedy and being selfish and not wanting to play with LeBron James. Why would he want to leave LeBron James, one of the greatest players of all times? Well, LeBron was going to do it to him. He did it to LeBron before LeBron could do it to him. Don't get mad at that. Don't get mad at that young man. From Big Apple Bastard, Kyrie was in Cleveland three years before LeBron came back and never made the playoffs. Stop with that. Uh, the reason the Cavs won bullshit. Um, I just explained this. I don't know. I've already explained it like five times. Uh, you look at any player at the start of their career, especially a teenager, they're not going to be the player that they are five or ten years later. Hell, you look at Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all times. People forget it took the Bulls seven years to win a championship with Michael Jordan. Now, I'm not saying Kyrie Irving is going to be Michael Jordan. I'm not saying that at all. But that is the perfect example and what I'm talking about and how this guy was young and we don't know what type of player he's going to be later in his years in the NBA. You don't know that. So stop it, Big Apple Bastard. Damn Big Apple Bastard. From one chance, he says, Kyrie going to beat Golden State Warriors now? Hell nah. I don't think anyone's sleeping on Kyrie. Everybody has been saying he's a stone Cold scorer, but we... Will he be happy in Boston and sign a long-term deal or find something else to cry and complain about there? So that's that's it right there. He's crying and he's complaining. Um, Will anybody, will either one of these teams beat the Golden State Warriors? Probably not. I mean, this is all trying to make moves, try to get better. You know, not standing pat, trying to do something counterproductive to what Golden State is doing and has done over the last couple of years. That's, That's exactly what it is. Will it be successful? I don't know. I, I don't know. I tend not to not to think so because Golden State just has too much. Even with these additions to both teams, looking at how they're constructed right now, I still think Golden State is the favorite uh, to win the championship next year. But I like both moves, man. 404-822-5467 is the number to the show. 404-822-5467. You are listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Get down with us in this Powerball play tonight. Go to the DougStewartShow.com. Halfway down to the right, you'll see a donate button. Click on that donate button. Donate $6.50 in the notes. Put the word Powerball. All one word. You have until 3 p.m. Eastern times today to donate your $6.50, which will each buy three tickets apiece. You'll be, uh, I guess, responsible for three tickets. And then we'll actually post pictures of all the winning numbers, or all the numbers, one of them which will be the winner. I'm very sure of that. On the Two Live Studios Radio Facebook chat group today. All right, when we get back from the break, the other big news from the last 24 hours, man, Say it ain't so, John Bone Jones. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Dedicating this show to the great Megan Good and hour number two, birthdays and entertainment. Hour number three, the power hour. And at 1 p.m. Eastern time, the Ryan Stewart Show. All here on Two Live Stews Radio. Don't go away. Stay right here. Back in three minutes. This is number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern on a recap Monday during his recap show. We're going to talk about sports, entertainment. We're going to have call interviews on the spot calls. This is just a show that will bring nothing but passion and joy and understanding to all the listeners on the Two Live Studios radio platform. The number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern. 